What's up guys, Prince Sports here. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Yo, it's official. Skip Bayless, the number one LeBron James hater, the number one troll, is now officially a troll to Damian Leonard. This guy can't stop talking about Damian Leonard. Ever since they had their confrontation, he's been trolling Damian Leonard like crazy. He questioning the fact to rather Damian Leonard is a superstar. He's questioning to the fact, is Damian Leonard overrated? Man, he's calling Damian Leonard everything in a book. Now he officially says, I wanna see what Dame time is really all about. This is a, a great opportunity for him to prove he really is a superstar and he really is clutch. And Skip did mention a lot of um, Damian Leonard's downfalls. Um, he has hit clutch shots in the playoffs, but he's also came up short a couple of times in the playoffs too. So it, it goes hand in hand. But here's the problem that Damian Leonard made. He contact he made contact with Skip Bayless, right? I think Skip Bayless um, saw him out. But the minute you gave you give a troll attention, the minute you give them your undivided attention when you're supposed to be annoying them, the same way LeBron does to Skip. Now you open up the floodgates, Dame, because Skip Bell is never gonna stop talking about you because you dis he felt like you disrespect him to a point that now you're number one on his shit list. So he's gonna constantly keep talking to you uh, about Dame, Dame Leonard. And he's gonna constantly keep talking negative about you because you called him a clown and you don't take him serious. So whenever you hit a nerve like that, guess what? You're gonna have to deal with that hater. And that hater's gonna be all over you. So your, your every move is gonna be criticized to the max now by one Skip Bayless. Now, even though Skip Bayless is a scumbag and he's a clown, he just said one thing that caught my attention a little bit. He wanted to know was Dame Leonard a real superstar or not? And the answer to that question is, to me is, he's close but he's not a superstar yet. He is as of right now, being seriously overhyped. Now, overhyped doesn't mean you're the best. I mean, I mean, you're <laughs> you're the worst. Sorry, it doesn't mean you, know, you suck. You're garbage. Overhyped means people are putting a lot of pressure on you to do something that we haven't seen you capable of doing, or you show no proof of you capable of doing that to begin with. Okay. Overhyped would be when LeBron first came into the league. You suspected him to do such and such. Only difference is LeBron exceeded the hype. He did became a superstar. Damian Leonard is not in that atmosphere of LeBron James, uh, Kobe Bryant. But the way you talk about him now, you're trying to act like he is. And he hasn't earned the scraps to do that yet. He's a great basketball player. I never, I would never say he sucked or anything like that. I think he's a great player. But he is overhyped. If you do know the term overhyped, it's a definition of it, okay? Now, to suspect, to even overhype Damian Leonard to the point where you're saying that he's gonna over overcome LeBron James and he's gonna do this and that to a superstar when he hasn't done it yet. The last time he went up against a superstar, he came up short and that was against Steph Curry. And Steph Curry ether Damian Leonard, he beat you. As simple as that. Damian Leonard was coming up short in the fourth quarter. Mr. So-called Clutch. Okay? So to all you people thinking um, Clutch is this and that, it's the be-all, say-all to everything, it's not. Okay? Not every game is going to come down to a final shot. Not every game is going to come down to a final moment where you have to be Clutch. Okay? Some games, if the team is just flat out better, they're going to beat you by 10 points or more. Playoffs or not. Okay? And... You see the Lakers, when they ready to play basketball, much like the Boston Celtics in 2010, they could get the job done. When you're an older team, you preserve your energy, so when the playoff time comes, you use that energy when games that actually matter, okay? If the Lakers went all out in this eight game regular season, then blow their tank out in the playoffs, you'll be calling them choke artists in the playoffs because what you look for the most is somebody to perform in the playoffs. So a lot of the regular season is fool's gold. Do never get caught up too much in the regular season because it's fool's gold. And that's what Damian Leonard 
has become. If you was that good, you should have been in the playoffs already. You shouldn't even be fighting for a playoff spot. OKC is where you're supposed to be at, Dame Leonard. You made it to the conference finals last year. You're supposed to easily be the fifth seed, period. If you was a superstar, you should be able to lock that fifth seed down without Nurk if you're not because you still had C.J. McCullough. You still have another all-star by your side. That's more than what a lot of uh, players didn't have that had to single-handedly carry their team to the playoffs. Westbrook did it. He was averaging a triple-double to, just to get his team in the playoffs. Remember that season? Westbrook did it, okay? That's the mark of a superstar. Not saying uh, Westbrook is better than Dame. I'm just make, making the point. Kobe led his team to the playoffs playing with a bunch of scrubs with uh, that um, 07 team, 016. Them, them guys were scrubs, you know? The guy was playing with Butch Parker and all these other bums, but he still led them to the playoffs. LeBron James still led his team to the playoffs. And don't tap, miss me with the, it's, it's the East, Eastern Conference. At the end of the day, it's NBA players. Fucking basketball is basketball. You take those Eastern Conference basketball players, put them on your neighborhood basketball court, put on the jersey and tell me if they're weak basketball players then. So don't do talking about something that you can't back up, okay? If you make it to the professional ranks of basketball, you're not that damn bad because you made it to pro basketball, okay? So keep that in mind. But, Skip Bayless, you officially a scumbag and a troll for fucking with Damian Leonard. Damian Leonard, he led his team to the playoffs, yes. But he shouldn't have been in that situation anyway. And this is a good chance he's going to go home in the first round. Despite all the hype that a lot of media and slash LeBron haters are coming out with. The only ones that really think the Blazers could beat the Lakers are LeBron haters. If you really look at it. Because con anybody with a brain and common sense know the odds should be stacked up against the Portland Trailblazers, not the other way around, okay? An eighth seed is an eighth seed. Your record is your record. You are what your record says you are, not, oh, this team should have been this. Man, miss me with all of that. You should have, should have been, could have been, but you did. Prince Sports out. Keep it 3,000.